Hi, if you have decided to adopt a next for your project to benefit from faster project builds, or you want to make management of your complex monorepo way easier and more efficient, you might soon encounter a situation where you have to add a currently existing and working application into a next monorepo. This might not be a trivial task at all. And in this video, we're going to tackle exactly this scenario. By the end of this video, you will see the process of adding a currently existing Angular application into an X workspace. And besides that, I will show you how you can migrate from Angular JSON project configuration file to project JSON, which is an X project configuration format. If you don't know much about an X yet, but you are curious to learn, I have a free mini course available here on YouTube. You can check it out, learn the basics, and then get back to this tutorial again. Otherwise, let's get started. <laughs> Very often when we migrate to monorepo, we have to import already existing applications and libraries into our monorepo workspace. This is not an easy task at all, but in this and the next lesson, I will show you certain NX tools and tactics that might simplify this process. So this is the project that we are going to import to the monorepo, and this is a very simple Angular application that will be a front-end for our online store. And whatever importing tactic you choose, everything boils down to bringing the source code of the project into the corresponding folder inside your workspace. In the older NX versions, you would do it manually, but starting from NX20, you have a special command called import that allows importing source code from an external project into your workspace. And also it has very handy interactive flag that will ask you for required data along the importing process. So let's have a look how it looks like. First of all, you will see some important information about the importing process. And here you can see steps that NX will perform in order to import the code from the external project. And here's the first question that next import command asks me, and it asks to provide the URL of the repository I want to import. So it can be the local Git repo, so you could provide something like this if the repo of the project located on your local machine, or you can provide a Git remote URL, which is exactly my case. So I just go, take the URL to my GitHub repo and just insert it right here. So I hit enter and you can see that repository is cloned into some temporary folder. And now it asks me which branch I want to import. I have only main branch, so I choose this option. And now it asks me which exactly folder I want to import from the cloned repository. So it might be either source folder or public or whatever, or we can leave it blank to import the entire repository and entire project. So let's import everything. And now we have to define the path inside our workspace where the code should be imported. So in my case, this is the folder apps and there will be an additional folder online store for that. So I type here apps and it will be online store just like that. So hit enter again and you can see process is started. And when everything is almost done, NX could recognize that I import Angular project. So it suggests me to install a corresponding Angular plugin so I can use my space key in order to select or deselect this option. I find this plugin useful for my project. So I select it, hit enter, and now we should decide if we want to start using NX in our package JSON scripts. So it will 
append an X command to currently existing NPM scripts like ng-serve, ng-build, etc. So let's choose yes and proceed. And you can see there is a final step installing dependencies, installing plugins, and after some time, everything should be ready. And there you will see also some log that will show you what exactly was imported and some recommendations what we should care about. For example, we should check path to the TS config, etc. Check root dependencies and move dependencies from the project packages onto the root. And once again, we were warned how to deal with the git history so let's go and address those issues one by one so there inside the apps folder you can see online store that has been successfully imported and let's get started with moving dependencies from the project package json to the root one so I take the dependencies from here and then just go to my root package JSON and add it to the dependencies list. And then I have to do the same but for dev dependencies. So I take everything from here. These ones I can remove. And then I go and insert this list into dev dependencies except typescript because typescript i have already here and it has the same version actually so i can remove it save this change and what we have to do is to install those dependencies so here we go a cool thing about nx and angular particularly is that nx understands angular json file so that's why if you go to the nx console here you see online store already visible for nx even without the project json file and this is not only about the project visibility actually nx can infer targets from the angular json file and immediately for me available build target serve target and others like tests which is really cool and we can even try to test it and run the serve target for my online store angular application and you can see that it seems like everything works so we can go to localhost 4200 and here is my online store successfully up and running isn't it just cool? And this seamless integration, especially with Angular, is possible because NX grew up from the Angular CLI, actually. So if you have a look at the Angular JSON file, you will see that it has very similar concepts to what we have in NX. So here, the builder inside the angular json this is pretty much the same what is executor in context of nx and likewise executors builders have options there are also configurations as you can see as well as the default configuration that plays actually the same role as the one in nx so as you can see a lot of concepts are the same they just named differently for example builder is executor the generators are called in angular schematics and the angular json plays the role of the project json file this is a great first step but for the consistency and scalability you would still need to migrate to the NX infrastructure completely. Simply because NX has much richer plugins ecosystem, it is designed with monorepos in mind and it has many other benefits compared to Angular CLI. But to not have this lesson too long, let's split it in two parts and in the next one we will perform migration from the Angular JSON to the project JSON. So see you in the next video. All right, let's start our migration for the 
online store Angular application, and we're going to migrate from the Angular JSON configuration to Project JSON, and overall, we're going to adjust our web application to properly work inside the Mono repo. And this process, I would like to start with moving and removing certain files from our project. For example, Angular folder and dist folder, we will not need them, so I'm going to delete it, as well as the git ignore. But before removing git ignore, I would recommend you to quickly go through the rules and some maybe project specific rules I would merge with the git ignore file that is located inside my workspace root. So once you successfully merge them, then you can go and remove them project level git ignore file. Besides that, we don't need the package log and package JSON files because we're not going to publish this application to the NPM, etc. So I can remove them as well. The editor config as well as VS Code, well, it's up to you. Sometimes they might be useful. So I'm going to just move them into the root of my workspace and yeah. Here we go. Now we are ready to start with the second part and migrate from Angular JSON to the project JSON. And for that, we have to create the project JSON in the root of our Angular project. And here we will define pretty standard amount of options. So we will define the name of our project. Then we define the schema. We define some metadata and drop some description of this project. Besides that, we define the project type as an application. And we also tell an X where the source root of our application. And besides that, we have to define targets, right? And the targets we will simply copy from the Angular JSON file because the configuration under the architect inside the Angular JSON, this is almost identical to what we have to define inside the targets configuration for the NX. So I can simply paste this configuration right here and perform a few little adjustments. The first one is that you have to replace builder key everywhere with the key executor like this. Just make sure that it was updated for every target inside the project JSON file. And after that, we just have to adjust path inside the configurations. For example, define the output path inside the workspace root, dist, and then the project root. And also for other configurations, I have to use project root in front of almost every path there below, as well as for the TS config file. Then we have to also do the same for assets, for styles, and let's check if we miss anything else. So yeah, inside the test target, we also have to do the same adjustments. So here we go. And as of now, it looks pretty good and we actually can drop the angular json and simply remove it so let's try to delete this file and let's try to test our application so i'm going to reset an x cache first of all and then let's try to run serve target for the project online store and it's supposed to work fine. So, yep, you can see that it is up and running and this is how my application currently looks like. Awesome. However, despite everything works and looks pretty great, we are missing some NX functionality for certain targets. For example, we could enable NX caching for the build target, right? So let's 
go and do that. Fortunately, we know how to enable caching for NX targets and to use caching efficiently, it would be a good practice to configure also inputs for this target. And here using their named inputs, we can define files changes in which ones should invalidate the target cache. In my case, it will be named input production and production inputs of the project dependencies. And the last configuration piece I would like to add is to configure the depends on property and say that before building our online store, we have to build all its dependencies if it is applicable. Currently, my online store doesn't have any dependencies, but in the future it might get ones. Awesome. So now we are done with the migration to the project JSON file. The only remaining change in our current setup would be adjusting the DS config JSON and add the line extends and say that our project TS config should extend the TS config base that is located in the project workspace root. And this would be, I think, the last change we have to do in order to adjust our application to properly work with NX workspaces and the monorepo in general. So let's do the final test. I'm going to open terminal, reset NX cache and everything else. And now let's try to serve our online store and make sure that everything continues working. And you can see that everything is great and we successfully migrated to project JSON and get rid of the Angular JSON file. And as you can see, it wasn't so hard because most of the configurations, most of the code here, it's just a copy paste from Angular JSON. We just had to adjust path for certain options and enable NX features like caching. But from another side, we had to perform a lot of manual work, updating all this stuff. And in more complex real life applications, this process might be way harder. And here I'm not talking that we didn't even migrate to the jest for our test. We still use Karma, if I'm not mistaken, right? And we didn't adjust linting and didn't synchronize it with the configuration we have in our workspace root. So that configurations would take some time as well. So in the next lesson, I will show you another tactic that might simplify the migration process in some areas. So let's finish this lesson here and move to the next one. All right, so this is how migration to NX might look. However, the migration, it is just the first step. In the future, you might encounter some other challenges. For example, how to deploy your applications from monorepos or how to make your CI pipeline more efficient and faster by reducing the build times. You might spend weeks trying to find and explore different solutions, but I have a shortcut for you. I'm the author of the entire video course about NX, small part of which you just saw, where in nine hours, Basically, in one working day, you can find answers for all those challenges and questions. And you will really enjoy working with NX because you will know the purpose of every piece of NX configuration. In the video description, you can find a link to the course, which also provides 20% discount for the first 20 students. So check this out. Besides that, as a certified NX expert, I help companies to adopt NX in their project and overcome other challenges related to NX and Angular. If that sounds relevant to you, feel free to reach out to me to schedule the initial exploration call where you can share more details about your project. Otherwise, thanks for watching till the end. I wish you a productive week ahead, stay safe and see you in the next video.